His creativity and pure technical skill have made him one of the most respected drummers in extreme metal. Hi, my name is Stephanie and welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we're speaking to Gene Hoagland of Fear Factory. Can you give us a, a snapshot of your career and how you finally ended up in Fear Factory? It would more be like a very short film than a snapshot, but let me try to synopsize it as good as I can. In 1986, I put out my first record with the band Dark Angel, and that was called Darkness Descends. You know, that was about an eight-year career with them. It was a three-year career with the band Death, where I was on the individual thought patterns and symbolic album. After that, directly was Strapping Young Lad from Vancouver, Canada with Devin Townsend. I was in Strapping for like, you know, 11 years or something like that. I'm in a bank from the States called Death Clock, which is from the Metalocalypse TV show. I now am in eight bands, at least something like that, eight to ten bands, all working, putting out albums. I read that uh, you started off as a roadie for Slayer back in the day, and now you're on the same tour as them. What does that mean to you? You know, we've been pals for so long. Slayer was a band that I used to hang out with when I was a kid. Dave Lombardo and I were drumming pals. I went on the road with them on my very first tour, and uh, I was their lighting guy, and I was the worst roadie ever. I was horrible. And I was 16 years old. I had no idea what to do. Yeah, I just went out and did a really horrible job and, you know, got fired immediately. I don't blame them at all, but we've been buds for years, so it's, you know, it's, it's been cool. Is it something that's very strange or hard for you to go into a fully established band like Fear Factory? I guess there's certain dynamics that you want to be aware of, I suppose. You know, this band's been around for a long time and it has a whole lot of fans and it has a whole lot of respect. So you want to pay respect to that by uh, playing the old songs well. That's really the biggest challenge. Like uh, We've all been pals for a long time, so it's really easy for, on a friendship basis to come into a band like Fear Factory. All I want to do is just you know play really well every night and make all the Fear Factory fans go, hell yeah, that was killer. You know, Have the guys in the band go, nice work. Fear Factory came out with an album in 2010 called Mechanize, which you were a part of. It was the first album that you were a part of. So can you tell me a bit more about this record? You know, we recorded it in July of last year. I thought we wrote it pretty easily. You know, the songs came pretty quick and the band definitely had a really good vision on what they wanted to accomplish with this record. They wanted to come roaring back, you know, because it had been a little hiatus and stuff. So I think they did really well with, you know, I think the band did with, with, with Mechanize. It's a, it's a, you know, total punch right in the teeth kind of record. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks. Cheers.